Hi, this video will show how we done a, a porcelain tile path leading to the house. So first we broke up the old concrete path, leveled it all out, removed the excess of material, leveled it all out and compacted with a compactor plate uh, in the area of the path. Then we used Pro Prime uh, priming slurry for the porcelain tiles and bedded on on six to one sand sharp sand cement mix. This is application of uh, tanking slurry. No, sorry, not tanking slurry. Priming slurry to the back of the tile because if you don't prime it, um, the tiles will probably pop off the adhesive. They will not bond properly. Now this is our sand cement. 6 to 1, it's been leveled out and then grooved slightly higher than what it needs and then use a rubber mallet to tap it into the correct height position. Uh, it only needs very very small adjustments because uh, the base has been leveled out nicely. is just making sure that all the gaps, all the joints are even and the falls of the path for the water to run off are all correct. And I'm using a string line to make sure that the uh, path runs in one single plane from start to finish. You can see how that is, uh, how flat that is. So compacting sand cement base, starting with level with a slab, with the top of the slab or tile, and then gently scraping excess off. It's just the grading, grading the surface, and then I will make three deep grooves for excess material to fall in whilst I'm tapping the tile into, in, into the correct position. After it's all been set, wash the slabs with molten brick cleaner. Scrub that, scraped it all off, rinsed with loads of water, washed it nicely. Now we are ready for jointing. This is the jointing compound I'm going to use. Easy joint, some aspects. It comes in a sealed bag, I just cut a corner of the bag off. It's a basalt colour. Very easy to use. All joints have to be wet, have a pose running. Soft broom, wet the broom as well. Better, better. You really want it that wet. Then, with a broom, just brooming over the joints, let it fall into joints. Just like that. Easy joint. That's why they call it easy joint. Because it's easy. And a 
that's it. We'll see. Like that. Then once you have a bit more water on, sprinkle some more water on. And that's the joint. Right, I'm gonna to turn the phone off now and get my buff hands on it to get it done quicker. One of the little tips is when you do end joint, when you're laying the slabs, put the cement up to the edge so resin doesn't run out and backfill all your joints as you're laying slabs so you don't have big massive holes because it's not cheap. If you have big holes, it will eat loads of uh, loads of material. Any leftover of grouting material, flood it with water. To keep it uh, pliable. So, put some more water in the bucket around the bag as well. It's completely flooded. Put in there as well. And then replace the lid. Can be stored like that for a few months now. There you go. All the joints are filled in. And one of the final tests on any slabs or tiles is a reflection when they're wet. Um, if the reflection is not breaking up, so basically you've got a neighbor's chimney there, over the few different tiles it runs in the same line, the reflection of the house runs in the same line, that means the tiles are laid in the single plane, so they all even. A door frame reflection. They're all running nice and straight. I'm pleased with it. Customer is pleased. Nice long path. Thank you for watching. If you got any comments or questions please let me know. Thank you. All the best.